Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taya Aino and I make videos on YouTube around filmmaking and sometimes vlogs. If you're into that kind of thing, be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications and I'm sure you would not regret it. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a cinemagraph. A cinemagraph are still photographs in which a minor and repeated movement occurs from the video clip. So let's get straight into it. So all you need for this clip is a camera, your tripod and then you need an idea. So for this clip, I'm going to be doing uh, me pouring a bottle of uh, whiskey. To get the best result for this kind of shot, you have to be sure of two things. In this case, my hand and the cup has to be as steady as possible, that's one. And two, I need to make sure the camera stays locked in a position. Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Hennessy. So for this project, the software I'm going to be using is Final Cut Pro. Well, I'm sure the same thing can be done for people who use Adobe Premiere Pro. But I'm using Final Cut Pro for this project. So let's get straight into it. Here is a clip of me pouring a drink into a cup. Let's just move it here. So we imported that. Then the recall through this, we can see me steadily trying to make sure my hand doesn't move and the cup doesn't move. And pouring the drink into. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick out the most stable part of this clip. We can go through our timeline frame by frame. There's a part here where there's less movement between my hand and the cup. Yes, I think it's somewhere around here. You see, there's no movement of the cup here. So what we do now is we cut this part, uh, cut this part. So we're not using this clip, we're not using this one. We're just having the part where the drink was pouring and my hand was as steady as possible and the drink too was as steady as possible. The only thing we want moving is the drink pouring from the bottle into the cup. I think this is the clip with the minimalist amount of movement. So we just copy it, uh, we copy, paste, paste, paste. So now we have like five clips of me doing the same thing. And the next thing we do is we pick one of the clips, hold it, open up our speed section, we hold the clip, we cut out this part. We had a freeze frame, so let's call it the freeze frame. We had a freeze frame where nothing is moving. We put that on top of our clip. The next thing we do is we open up our mask, search for mask, pick up draw mask, then all we need to do is you can zoom in for this. All we need to do now is to trace the part where we only want the movement to be. So in other words, what we are just trying to do is we are trying to expose the clip under this clip to show the movement but keep the other stationary parts for this clip on top. I don't know if that makes any sense. So we just mask it out. We mask the movement out. Uh, you can zoom in on your screen to make sure this is as accurate as possible. the mouth of the drink, of the bottle, and we trace it down, down, zooming back. Then we move to the, we connect everything. So once everything is connected, we just click on invert mask. Just like that, we are almost done. Once we play this back, we'll see that the only part that is moving now for this project is just the drink part. Every other thing stays still. We can move this forward to cover this whole timeline up. So after that is done, here there are some there are some parts of it that doesn't look real. And we can feather it a little bit just to make sure it's not so obvious. Yeah, I think that's about right. We are done already. So all we just need to do is add some color grading to make this look dope and add a little bit of music. So. Then if you want to make it doper, you can just look for some sounds of pouring water. 
I think I have one here. I recorded not quite long ago. So if we play this now, this is what it will look like. It's also better to make it as short as possible so you have more replay times and more views if you're posting to Instagram. Export. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and if you learned something from this video, please subscribe. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.